Creating and navigating results tables in multi-quant software is very easy and gives you dynamic power to review the quantitative calculations, calibration curves, and chromatographic peak integration easily and efficiently. This video will show you how. To create a new results table from acquired data, you first select File, New Results Table. From here, you can browse your computer for a data set. In this data set, we have triplicate injections of calibration standards, multiple blank injections, then injections of a few water samples, including agriculture, urban, and farmland drain water samples that we are screening for pharmaceuticals and personal care products, and some assorted pesticides and antibiotics. We also ran a few quality control spike samples within this batch. We can add all of these samples to our results table by clicking the batch name, then the right arrow to add them to our table. We select Next, then we are able to browse our computer for the quantitation method. In this example, we are using a quantitation method that we've previously created. Once that method is selected, we click Finish. The software is then applying the quantitation method to integrate all of the chromatograms in our sample set. The results table will appear with a navigation bar on the left-hand side of the screen. The navigation bar can be configured to display each transition you are monitoring, or individual components which are listed at the bottom of the navigation pane, and can also be configured to display groups, which are listed at the top of the navigation pane if you've set up your quantitation method with groups. We have our method here set up to display groups, where each compound has its unique group that contains both MRM transitions that we are monitoring for that compound. By clicking on any compound, the table will automatically update with the results for the entire batch for that specific compound, and the same if a group is selected. Here you can see for our group, we are able to see both the quantifying and qualifying MRM transitions for that compound. The results table can also be sorted by sample type. If you would like to just look at unknown samples, then unknowns can be selected and the table updates to only display those samples from the batch. We will go back and display all samples. Now, if you want to look at the chromatographic peaks of these samples, we click on the top left icon in the navigation bar and the chromatogram for a particular sample is highlighted as we click through our table of samples. The chromatographic view can also be customized. By right-clicking in the window and selecting Options, we are able to set the number of rows and columns of chromatograms we want to display, which will allow you to review as many or as few chromatograms as you'd like in a single window. By clicking the trash can icon, we can remove the view of the chromatogram pane. We can also easily review all of the calibration curves for the data set by clicking the second icon from the left side of the top navigation bar. The calibration curve in view is updated as different compounds are selected. Here, we have the acetaminophen group selected, so we're able to review the calibration curves for both the quantifier and the qualifier MRM transitions in this single window. By clicking the magnifier button on the pane, we are able to change the view to create a unique tab for each pane for a different view of the results. We can also reselect to view the chromatogram pane, then magnify to review each pane as a separate tab. It should also be noted that updates to the results table are totally dynamic. If we make a change to the integration of a peak, the calibration curve and results table are updated automatically. If you want to remove a point from the calibration curve, you can right-click and select Exclude, and the point is excluded from the calibration curve, and the results table is updated automatically. As you can see from this short video, creating and navigating results tables for multi-component analysis using MultiQuant is very easy and intuitive for your quantitative data processing.